is up, everyone. So I just want to start by saying thank you, of course, to all the uh, creators of this event. Really excited to be here and uh, be talking to everyone today. Um, yeah, so I'm Christian. I'm a freshman here at Temple University in Philly, um, originally from South Jersey. Um, and yeah, I'm a sports photographer and videographer, and that's what we're talking about today. So I just want to start off with this quote. This is by uh, Ryan Coogler. He's one of my favorite directors. He did uh, Black Panther, Fruitville Station, Creed. Um, so he says, we have social responsibilities to not just entertain, but to make people think. So I really like this quote because, you know, it's evoking deeper meaning. You know, you should never just entertain. You should always leave your audience and your consumers with some sort of deeper meaning and, you know, make them think more. You know, there's a good quote, too. I'm not sure who says it, but um, people forget what you did. People forget what you say. People never get how you made them feel. So you should always, you know, remember that. And you should always be evoking thought, like I just said, you know, just trying to evoke feeling out of your content. So my story. Um, this is a funny photo I threw in for my freshman year of high school, uh, photographing. Um, that's me playing lacrosse in the corner. Um, so I started playing off every sport imaginable, big sports guy. Um, and I started focusing on just lacrosse. Um, and then in high school, I decided it, was, decided it was time to find new hobbies. So I quit lacrosse and uh, started to do with photography. So high school, um, like I just said, I started photographing. So fall of my freshman year, I started photographing football. Honestly, did not really know what I was doing, but uh, decided to just start jumping into it. Um, but some of the basketball players were at the games and they saw me photographing. So they said to me, hey, do you want to film our basketball games? And honestly, once again, no idea what I was doing. You know, I never filmed a game before like that. But uh, I said, hey, why not? You know, high school is the time to jump right in, you know, get new opportunities. So I said, yeah, I'll do it. So like I said, didn't really entirely know what I was doing, but I decided to take the risk and it definitely paid off. Um, I was friends with a lot of these guys. This is when we won the state championship for New Jersey. This was played at uh, Rutgers University. Crazy awesome experience. I got to make a documentary, which is on YouTube about the whole thing. Um, yeah, so my biggest takeaway though was the relationships, you know, I made in high school. I think that's so valuable for us as creators, especially being young, the relationships and connections we can make, you know, it's so valuable. You know, you never know in the industry who knows who and you know what connections can help you longer, you know, further down the line. So it's so important, especially in high school and just as a young person to make connections and relationships. So this is just a couple of quick photos of just random stuff um, I shot in high school. So lacrosse, baseball, track, golf. Um, I try to cover everyone equally and you know give coverage to all the sports. So this is one of the first big events um, I shot while I was still in high school. Um, so this is Temple football. They play at Lincoln Financial Field where the Eagles play. Um, so this was really cool. It was my first big like moments, you know, like I said, out of high school. Um, besides, you know, photographing like, football games, you know, at a little high school stadium. Um, this is definitely a bigger feeling. I remember just walking down the tunnel being like, how did I end up here? You know, like, what am I doing here? I don't belong here. But because, you know, being so young, that's what, you know, you're, you're made to think, but it's really not the case, you know. Like, there was all these high, big professional photographers, you know, with their big cameras and their $50,000 lenses around me, you know. Give me pretty intimidating, but, you know. Understand, you know, the hard work you put in, you know, and all the time behind the scenes, that's going to lead you to opportunities like this, you know. And just because you're young does not mean you don't belong there, you know. In the future, 20 years from now, who's going to be on the sidelines, you know, or whatever? The people with the, the old guys with the big cameras, you know, you as the creator, definitely you. So I would just say as an important reminder, never let age or anything like that, you know, get in the way of you trying to create. This was another one of those, like, what am I doing here moments? This was um, the Eagles had an open practice um, also at the link after the Super Bowl in August of 2018. Um, so this was really cool, you know, have all these players right in front of me. This was another, like, like I just said, I made it moment. And uh, it really, I don't know, this is just one of the big moments of my career where I thought, wow, like you're actually doing something this, you know, your hard work is paying off. But I couldn't tell you, honestly, like to get here, all the emails I had to send, and just in general in high school, all the emails I tried to send, you know, for stuff, I just never responses to, you know, that's being part of me. Like I said, it's being part of being young. You're going to get denied, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, it really doesn't matter. You know, as long as you keep trying, you're going to get good opportunities. You're going to get good moments. So just, you know, do not get discouraged. Yes, yeah, so this is some more recent stuff. Um, like I said, I'm a freshman here at Temple and I do some content for the football team. Um, but so I couldn't do anything in person for them from this past August all the way to February. So March was my first real month of being in the facility with them. Um, so this is some stuff we did for media day, some headshots and portraits, stuff like that. We did like the entire team in like a week. So that was pretty crazy of just nonstop photos. Um, yeah, I would say one good thing on the pandemic though, was that, you know, uh, for creators, obviously it sucked because we couldn't, uh, you know, be in person for a lot of stuff. But um, at least for me, I got to do a lot of um, 
online stuff for Temple, like video editing and uh, photo editing, stuff like that, their other content. So you'll see in a second video I did, but I would just say in general, that allowed us cre as creators, you know, the pandemic to experiment more, you know, we got chances of stuff we probably wouldn't do in normal time. I guess that's one good thing. Yes, this real quick, like I just said, a video I did for Temple back in the fall. This was a hype video for right before the season started. Um, so this was really cool. And uh, like I said, this is my footage, but that's just one, you know, perk, I guess, of the job. I get to like, you know, edit all their footage, go through their ar archives, stuff like that. So that was really cool. You have to be a tough person uh, to go to Temple. You have to be a person that uh, finds a way to get things done. Shows blitz. Jackson's in trouble and he's sacked again. Russo gives to Davis. Davis has the first down. Breaks open at the 10 to the 5, and the freshman has the touchdown. There's the shovel pass inside. And a touchdown for Temple. It's Jaden Blue. Fumbles into the end zone. And I think the Owls have recovered. It's recovered by Isaiah Graham Mobley. Plenty of time. Russo to the end zone. Touchdown. Yes, that was insanely cool. Love that video still. That was really fun to make. Got a lot of love on that one. You have to be a tough person. So this was another recent event. This was uh, last month in March. We had a pro day. So basically what pro day is, is, you know, guys that graduate from Temple, they're trying to make it into the NFL. Um, they do like a workout in front of NFL scouts. So there was, I think, uh, 21 scouts total from like 21 NFL teams here. So it's basically just those 21 scouts, the players, and then there was three photographers, including myself. So it was honestly, like I said, I still get intimidated stuff like this. You know, it was pretty intimidating. I was definitely the youngest one there. But, you know, I was working, you know. So like I said, never be discouraged because you're young, you know. You're there for a reason. You're there to do your job. So just do your job, you know, and do not worry about your age or anything like that. Yes, yeah, so this is a couple of quick thoughts in the future. Um, I just want to touch on two big things, relevancy and adaptability. So I think relevancy, you know, us as young creators, we know best. You know, we know what's work. We know what will work and what won't. You know, we're the future and we understand that. Um, anything can go viral, you know, as we know, we see on like TikTok and Twitter, Instagram, anything like stupid or good can go viral, you know? So, um, just always be aware of that, you know, no, any moment, anything can go viral. Um, I think going off of that, you know, always be thinking and creating for what's next, you know, just really hone in on that. Um, and then the other main point is adaptability, you know, you should always be adaptable. That's a good thing to have, you know, being a worker, um, you know, cause things change, you know, especially right now, we never know what's next, you know, just being adaptable, it's a good trait to have. And it's good to have for the future. Um, use whatever you can. Obviously, like the cameras now are not going to be the cameras of the future, you know, the content now, all that stuff. Things are changing. So never get cut off on that. You know, just do what you can, work with what you have, and, you know, you'll make good content. Um, and most importantly, be a multitasker, you know, whether that's just for the future and just, you know, or also for jobs, internships, you know, having multiple skills is such a good thing to have, you know, and it really helps you for jobs and just, you know, life in general. So I just want to leave you guys with a quote. Um, this is by uh, Anthony Vlodkin. Be undeniably good. No marketing effort or social media buzzword can be a substitute for that. So basically, you know, you can market yourself, whatever, or your work, you know, you can promote all that. But if you're not a good person, you're not presenting yourself well as a person, none of that's going to matter, you know. What really matters is the person you are and how you market yourself. You know, so if you're a good person, you work good, you know, you're a smart person, that's going to be the best thing people work for, look for, you know, in the job, stuff like that. So it's all about, you know, you can create good content, but if you're not a good person and you know you're not working hard, then that's not going to matter. So, yeah, just remember that. And thank you. That's it. Thank you, Christian. That was great. Anybody have any questions for him? Put it in the chat. Feel free to look. Um, to answer any questions you have, feel free to take, your, take yourself off of mute and ask any questions. Um, so hi, Christian. I'm Asia. I'm also like a, a videographer and I just started um, my own Instagram page, you know, getting into basketball highlight reels and things like that. So I just awesome. have like a couple of questions for you. Um, mm -hmm. One, like, how do you keep your content fresh with there being so many other videographers and photographers? How do you differentiate your content from other content creators? Yeah, well, so personally, I guess for me, I like to do like a certain style of editing. I think that's the best way to make yourself stand out, you know, because 
anyone can take a photo, you know, a plain photo, but if you make it your own in some way and stay consistent with that, that's really gonna make you stand out. Um, yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. You know, you have to stand out some way and at least in my opinion, yeah, editing certain ways that just helps. And one more, just so how did you, one, like, how did you find your like knack or like your niche or whatever, like for your specific editing? And two, did you find it, um, uh, it's kind of a more specific question. Do you find it more difficult to uh, record like highlights for football or basketball? Like, what do you find or what's your favorite? That's a good question. Um, I would say basketball is harder because, you know, you never know where the ball's going to go. Football, I guess it's more contained. Um, but yeah, the editing style too, I don't know, personally for me, I like to, I guess, just be specific, like desaturate my photos and like, uh, there's like presets on Lightroom, if that makes sense, you know, certain like styles you knew then I just go off that. Um, yeah, I definitely noticed you have like a more of like a darker black and black and white, yeah. more of like a editing style. I definitely noticed that. Mm -hmm. Your content's really good, by the way. Thank you so much. Oh, questions in the chat. Tell the players. <laughs> Hey, Christian, uh, Dave Jenis. I'm a teacher at Kensington High School. Um, I have a student who's here with me right now. She's actually in social studies, so she's trying to multitask. Um, but she wanted to ask you about your camera. And uh, for students who may not have access to those great cameras and lenses that you had in high school, mm -hmm. do you have any suggestions for how they can up their game uh, in photography? Great presentation, by the way. Thank you. Um, using what you have. I know I said that, but, you know, I still to this day do not have the professional gear that like one would call professional. Um, I've just honestly, like, I don't know, struck out, you know, just you, if you understand, you know, your camera and your equipment, it helps so much, you know, um, because you can have crappy equipment, but if you make it work and you understand how it works the best and that'll honestly create the best content, um, I guess. And just to be specific, like the Canon Rebel line, that's cheap um, brand of cameras that really helps. Um, I still, like I said, I still, I still use, I think it's a Canon 60D, not the best camera from like 2009, but I guess I've just been so used to it. I've used the same camera for five years. I really understand how it works. It really helps when it comes to creating content. You know, you know every little niche about it. So it really helps. You can create the best possible content if you don't understand your equipment. Thanks. Do we have any more questions? Anything anybody else want to say? Yeah, I'll answer Nancy's question. She's on the chat. Um, any advice for younger photographers? Um, shoot everything, you know? I couldn't tell you the amount of like random games I'd shoot like a Tuesday or Wednesday after school, you know, just for fun. But um, it's a good way to not only like, you know, like mark yourself, cause you know, I send the players my photos so they like and they post them, you know, it shares. But also just, like I said, practicing, just, you know, consistently like with the camera, just keep practicing. It really helps you get better, you know, just shooting anything you can and whatever you can, it really helps. Oh, Christian, I really wanted to thank you to take for taking the time to um, talk to us. My name is uh, Mr. Ejim. <clears throat> I'm a digital media production teacher over at KKappa. And I had a question in regards to your workflow. So <clears throat> after you've shot a game, can you just sort of roughly walk us through how you get from sort of uh, taking, you know, the SD card out of your camera mm -hmm. to sending, you know, photos to players? Yeah. So. A um, little technical, but in during the game, there's like functions on a camera and you can like mark certain photos, you know, and like key them. So what I tried to do from that is, you know, during a game to save myself time after, you know, delete the photos I know they're going to be bad or not going to use where you key them, you know, so like they'll stand out for like post editing. So then obviously I go back to my computer. I upload stuff. I personally use Adobe Lightroom. It's like a um, editing platform. Um, so then I go through that, you know, like I said, I have presets, which is like pre um, editing, you know, you add filters to it already. So you add the filter um, and then sometimes that watermark or not depends, you know, the company or what I'm shooting for. Um, and yeah, so at least for Temple, what we do too is we have like certain folders for every athlete by name. So what I'll do is, you know, export, then you upload, you know, to your certain folder for the player. So just at least for us, it's workflows organized, you know, we have every player just listed in its own folder. So you, know, you can just quickly click on their name, see all their photos, that sort of thing. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good question in the chat. Photography practice. Yeah, um, I would say obviously too, playing the sports before definitely helps, especially for lacrosse, because you understand it better. You know, you understand how the game goes, you understand how it works. Um, and yeah, I think photography definitely helps because um, 
you can like see more creative value, you know, for the sports, you know, it helps you because anyone can take it like an average photo of, you know, someone running with the ball, but you know, you, if you get those in-between moments, the candid moments and like the interesting moments, it definitely helps too. I have a question as well, Christian. Mm -hmm. um, I have a question for you, which is, you made a really interesting point saying that you shouldn't be, you know, afraid of your age. And you talked about the confidence side of that. I'm wondering if you received any external pressure, like pushback or were people really supportive or what was that like? You know, you know what I'm saying? You had to get over yeah. that yourself, but what about, what about everyone around you? How did they respond? I would say um, definitely like, at least in high school, you know, all the players, all my friends, they all love that stuff. Pretty supportive because everyone loves getting photos themselves, especially athletes. Um, but I would say definitely uh, when shooting stuff, not at all, you know, like I said, usually the youngest person there. So it's always intimidating, you know? And I mean, there's also sometimes some friendly photographers, we also do a lot of sometimes, you know, just not disrespect, but you know, not getting like taken seriously, you know, by some of the older people, you know, like I said, you got to kind of wave it off, you know, you're there to do your jobs, so, you know, you don't let it affect you, but definitely seen it sometimes. It's some stuff I've shot. <laughs> Thank you. Any last questions? Anything you want to tell Christian? Any good words of advice? Anything before I go on, move on? Yeah, um, just feel free to type uh, anything in the chat up on my Instagram too. If anyone wants to mess out, message me, ask any other questions, I'll be here. So thank you. Really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, Christian. That was great. 